Hello guys, welcome to my channel. This is the 14th tutorial in this course and in this tutorial we'll be seeing how we can insert images in our web pages. Now to insert an image in a web page you have to use the img tag in HTML. Now before I see, uh, show you guys uh, you know the output of this HTML document that I have here opened in my text editor and uh, before I explain the text in it I'm going to show you the image that I, I will be inserting in the web page that I'll be making. So this is the image, you know, tennis racket with a few tennis balls. And, uh, you know, let's say we're making a tennis website and we want the text, the tennis center to be at the center of the website with a font size of seven. So, you know, to have that font size, uh, we have to use the font tag and we've checked out the font tag in the last tutorial. And since we want this at the center of the page, we are also using the center tag here. So. Let's check out the sequence of tags now on line number seven. So I have the center tag first and then I have the font uh, tag to set the size of the text to seven. And then I finally have the paragraph tag to, you know, uh, have the text. So I'll be closing the tags in the reverse order. So I'll first close the paragraph uh, text and I'll have to do that here. I haven't actually closed the paragraph text. So I'll type in hyphen, oh uh, sorry, slash P here. And then I'll be closing the font tag. And then finally I'll close the center tag, right? And uh, then on line number nine, I have uh, the IMG tag, right? So between the less than symbol and the greater than symbol, I have the text IMG, which is a short form for image. And then you have to, uh, you know, give a value to the source attribute or the SRC attribute of the image tag. So you type in SRC, which is the name of the attribute, and then you put in the equal to symbol. And then within double quotes, you, you know, type in the name of the file. And if the file is in the same directory as the HTML document as is the case in you know uh, you know for me in, in this tutorial I have the you know image tennis dot jpg the one that I just showed you in the same in the same folder as I have uh, you know this document which is you know a uh, folder on my desktop then you do not have to mention the entire path of the file but let's say I had this in the documents folder on the music folder of my system in that case I would have had to type in the entire path of this file right and uh, i hope you understand what i mean by that and then i have also set a value for the height attribute of this uh, of this of this uh, image file i have uh, you know set the height to 80 percent of the original height and i've also set the width of the image to 100 percent of the original uh, width and these two attributes are actually not required like they're not necessary you don't have to give them values like if i will not uh, include the height attribute here then you know by default 100 percent of the height would be included in the web page right but since i want 80 percent of it to be included i would have to keep it here and then to close it you don't have to close it in the traditional way of slash img you could just type in a slash at the end and then just have in the closing uh, angular bracket right i'll save this file and i'll open it in my web browser i'll refresh it so this is how it looks we have the text the tennis center at the center as we expected and then we have this image right so this is how easy it is to insert images in uh, web pages in html you just have to use the img tag and you know that's it for now in the next tutorial we'll be checking out more tags and more features so you may subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and i'll see you in the next video till then take care